Bruno Tonioli was announced as the latest addition to the judging panel on Britain's Got Talent BGT, earlier this year, with his debut on the show airing this weekend. The professional dancer, 67, has joined long-serving judges Simon Cowell, 63, Alicia Dixon, 44, and Amanda Holden, 52, on the popular ITV talent show for its new series. It isn't his first time on a panel though, as has known for having been a judge on Strictly Come Dancing as well as on international version Dancing with the Stars DWTS. And although viewers are likely very familiar with Bruno as a judge, they may not know much about his life away from such TV projects, so here's a look at his life off-screen. Romances Bruno who was romantically linked to his pal Matt Law some years ago, seems to keep his relationships under wraps, though has previously given insights into his life. He told The Mirror in 2005, I always sleep on my own. Dot, always separate bedrooms, bathrooms and closets. And he added, I'm very individual and I want my own space. The talent show judge has also previously spoken about his experience growing up in Italy, with him saying during same interview, I really was the only gay in the village. The dancer, who said he was targeted by some of his peers before becoming popular, said he didn't bring up his sexuality to his late parents but suspected they knew. Career Bruno reportedly has a net worth of around £8 million, according to The Sun with such wealth said to have primarily been earned through TV projects over the years. His salary on Strictly was reportedly around £250,000 per series, for example, and it's been claimed that Hess on a six-figure salary for his role on the BGT panel this year. He had been a long-serving judge on Strictly, having been on the show from 2004 until his departure in 2020 had worked alongside the likes of Craig Revel Horwood, 58. The latest series featured him on the panel alongside longtime colleagues Carrie Annie Naba, 55, and Len Goodman, 78, as well as more recent judge Derek Huff, 37. Bruno has appeared on other shows like The Masked Dancer and earlier in his career was a choreographer on films like Ella Enchanted. 2004, and Little Voice, 1998. During his time as a choreographer, has said to have worked with acts including Sir Elton John, Tina Turner, Freddie Mercury, The Rolling Stones and Banana Rama. Celebrity pals having worked in showbiz for decades, it's no surprise that Bruno has some celebrity pals. One of his closest friends is understood to be former WAG Lizzie Cundy, 54. The pair have been photographed together on various occasions over the years and Lizzie described him as her dearest friend in a post on Instagram earlier this year. Bruno is pals with some of his former co-stars like Glenn and Craig, both of whom he worked with on Strictly. And he also seems close to his current DWTS colleague Carrie. Has friends with his fellow judges on BGT, with Bruno recently revealing that him and Simon go back a very, very long time. And he had worked with Alicia on Strictly. And enjoyed a catch-up in Los Angeles recently with fellow judge Amanda and a host of other celebrities, including Piers Morgan, 58, and Gary Lineker, 62. Bruno revealed some of his other celebrity pals when he posted a selfie from a festival in 2019. It included All Saints siblings Natalie Appleton, 49, and Nicole Appleton, 49. The photo, which Bruno wrote hashtag friends forever alongside, also featured Bananarama's Sarah Dallin, 61, 
and Garen Woodward, 62. East Enders Samantha Womack, 50, and Sarah's daughter Alice Dallin Walker were also in the photo. Lifestyle Bruno has previously spoken about his life away from work, revealing in an interview last year that has pretty normal and doesn't have much of a showbiz lifestyle. Whilst speaking about his life, he told the Daily Mail, When I'm not working, I don't do showbiz much. I go to the gym, see a play, have dinner. I am pretty normal. According to the outlet, he said that reading about history is one of his pleasures. He had previously mentioned that he had an interest in reading during an interview in 2010. He told The Telegraph, I love reading. I'm very much into history, novels, biographies and I have a wide range of thrillers. He said he likes to read and relax on holiday. Bruno is no stranger to enjoying a vacation, with one of his most recent trips abroad having been to Sardinia last year. He once teased about holidays, I never have enough. Bruno previously teased that his lifestyle had been affected by him working on both Strictly and the UK and DWDS in the US at the same time over an 11-week period each year. He said that he would head to Los Angeles on a Sunday and then work on DWTS. A few days later he would return to London for Strictly, before repeating the cycle. Bruno, who is no longer a judge on Strictly, said during his interview with the Daily Mail last year that his schedule was insane whilst working on both TV shows. And he teased that it had affected his life for the numerous weeks of production, commenting, You don't go out, you don't see anyone. Dot, basically, you don't have a life. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at Web Celebs at Mirror. Co.uk or call us direct 0207 29